About taste! Cool about it! Not! Making conversation, mate. Mate, he says. We are colleagues, nothing more. Come now, it's just a turn of phrase. Will you please turn your phrase? Thank out? you for talking some sense into that knucklehead. That she beast would have been the death of us. It would be quite a bit better if I could do it in peace. Just making conversation, mate. Mate. Says we are colleagues. I can picture it now. Afternoon, milady. Have you any counselors' corpses lying around, perchance? Assault hunters? Here? I've... I've got to warn the others! Your grave opens to welcome you! Is you the 
won't want lock this here gate. We need to speak to Evelyn. Can't you recognize a fellow immaculate when you see one? Just because I've got twice your strength in my little toe, don't mean we ain't equal in the goddess's eyes. Well, myself, I need a hand choosing drapes for me kitchen windows. Are you daft? I need to inform her about the happenings in the Black Cove. But since my lady seems to have barred her gates to the likes of us, why don't you tell her this, small bones? We've run into a snag in the cove, but we're pushing through. The Starstone will be hers soon enough. I reckon if you don't already know, that may be above your pay grade. Take it up with Evelyn, why don't you? Or, better yet, have a look for yourself. You seem like just the type those pirates would love to get their hands on. Is that right, small bones? Maybe you can give me a single good reason for I rip your arms out. No need to get all bent out of shape. We'll be gone. These fellows are so I've focused on their I've work, they seem to be impervious now. to any other distraction. Base. Even the hovering Me. of orcs couldn't shake them out of their strange stupor. Toxic courses through my veins. is not enough.
to welcome you! My life is ebbing away. It. The secret lair of Evelyn is before us at last. I will follow where you lead into this mystery. I need it. Your stupidity, Evelyn. Look over there. Your foolish games have brought source hunters into our very midst. I have no time for these distractions. Bracchus Rex's resurrection is at hand. Deal with these insects and join me. Understand? Of course, O oh Holy Conduit. I will deal with them swiftly. See to it that you do. You! Your stomping through my affairs has cost me dearly, more dearly than you'll ever know. What a pleasure it will be to see the Source shred your every last sinew. Yes, a sorcerer, disciple of blood, chaser of life everlasting. For a true sorcerer, death is but an inconvenience to rid oneself of, Hunter. Bracchus Rex, centuries in his grave, will walk again. Healthy as a newborn babe. That is our power. The power of sorcery. That wretch is but a thrall, a tool. But the conduit trusted him. I was determined to find out why and resurrected him. His unwillingness to cooperate has proven something of an annoyance. But no matter. We're nearly through, aren't we, Jake? 
just a little more pain. She is our leader. Leandra is her name. The Conduit is her title. She aims to bring about... But no, you are not worthy of such knowledge. The bird does not explain to the worm why it devours it. He was the greatest sorcerer ever to have lived. His power outmatches us all. The secrets he carries within him are phenomenal. He will aid us in our task, Hunter. All you have seen, all we are trying to do, this is but the beginning. You mean my bloodstone, I suppose? Ha! It was named like that for a reason, Source Hunter. I'll put it simply. We start with Starstone. A pretty gem, but hardly special. It contains a potential, though, known only to the enlightened few. If imbued with blood, Starstone contains the power to heal. A life given to the stone is a life one can give to another. To save a great life? A great life must be sacrificed. This is what the Conduit has taught us. Considering the imminent turn of the tide, Source Hunter, you should trust me when I say you're better off dead. Bracchus Rex is rising, and soon Source will live again. <laughs> These flames!
Source Hunter. Dear Death Heaven told me you had landed in Sicil, drawn to my source little corpse that flies to excrement. Well, here I am. A man no longer. A monster instead, unworthy of a conduit's grace. The very same. Jake, counselor by day, sorcerer by night, martyr in death. Me? Do you contest it? Huh? You presumptuous dog! I died! Died serving the conduit! Leandra! Leandra! Oh, blessed conduit! I'd have followed you till the end of time! But it wasn't to be. I was stuck down in the prime of my sorcery. And by whom? Leandra's own sister! The pox upon her! I, Ikara! Ikara! I spit on every syllable! They call her the White Witch! She is powerful in her own right, but never would I have thought she'd challenge her sister, Leandra, and kill one of the most loyal. Me! Foolish Grasper! She who thought herself the conduit favorite couldn't stand that I had been privileged as a confidant. When she realized the conduit had been in the inn the night I was killed, she couldn't stand to think that I had been trusted where she had not. She brought me back to unlife so that I would reveal what I knew. She wanted to work her way back into the conduit's confidence. But as you saw, Leandra had no interest in Evelyn's petty tricks. My murder, a tale of woe. The time, a misty midnight. The place, the King Crab Inn. The players, myself, Leandra, Ikara, and a stranger whose identity I have never established. The conduit was there to meet with this stranger and had tasked me to stand ready to overpower him if necessary. I heard sounds of passion at first, but later of angry argument. Then I heard Leandra's command, and I entered the room. She swerved past me, and oh, I can still feel the rasp of her holy breath upon my ear, whispered, finish him. A man lay on the floor, struck down and ready for my knife, which I plunged deep into his heart. Yet, but not a moment later, Ikara burst through the window, and I was defenseless. She savagely tore my life from my body, and I died in the glow of the source. A holy martyr, slain in the name of the conduit. Very little indeed. What concern was that foul woman of mine? What witch, perhaps? The black sheep of her family, too. She shunned her sister's teachings. Can you believe that? She could have been the very conduit's right hand. And she shunned her. Oh, take vengeance upon her, blessed Leandra. I invoke you, open her veins, bleed her dry, give her a function of... Yes, yes, the king is dead, but not for long. Long live the king! The blackest rakes has no equal, Hunter. His knowledge of a source is absolute, and through him so will the conduits be. The hour is nigh. You do not realize it yet, but his axe is falling towards your scrawny neck. <laughs> and I, I am of little use to Leandra's cause now. My worm-eaten rind is an insult to her perfection. To my grave, then, I will go. I suppose she'll not grudge me my portion of rest. Bold as black as Rex was he, though only half as holy, the Source King. He is more than legend. You know the epic of Baron Falls, I gather. 
You're smarter than you look and smell. I'll stay off that particular device. May the pain wrought by sword and sorcery stalk this stiff, stirring trumpet beyond the shores of death. Once more we have stumbled upon an amateur, one who disfigures the pallid elegance of necromancy's visage with rank and vulgar imperfections. She dabbled with flesh like a child with its pudding. She was deaf to the screams of her victims as she made the scalpel glide through exposed limbs with the easy grace of birds through air. And for what? For nothing but to command death, the true necromancer. It is life he wants to command. Immortality. Achieve this, and the screams of agony will not have thundered forth from tortured throats in vain. They will be forgotten in the maelstrom of time eternal. Exactly so. For what is humanity, after all? but a gathering of germs from which an exalted few may pluck the subject their studies require and vivisect them into oblivion while propelling themselves into eternity. Glory be this noble pursuit, tainted as it may be by the blunders of simpletons like Evelyn. Let us eradicate such vermin wherever we find it. Let us seal up every crevice it crawls from, but let us never lose sight of the higher purpose that the art of necromancy promises yet. So now to pursue said promise with haste and determination. Death is a friend of time. Source Hunter, you have done it, haven't you? You've discovered the fate of Counselor Jake. could have predicted such a dark turn of events. This is worse than my deepest fears made manifest. It just cannot be that they aim to resurrect him. Bracchus Rex. It cannot be. Forgive me, this news is just so very upsetting. This thing, it was the king of tyrants, the embodiment of terror. The lunatics that seek his rise must be stopped, whatever the cost. I... I do. I do indeed. Bracchus would unseat the king of demons in sheer perfidy and malice, given half a chance. For the world. For you and I to suffer his perversions once more. The possibility of his return is more than I can bear. And Ikara. 
that she has been dragged into this sorry business adds insult to... There have long been rumours that Bracus's corpse was interred in the vaults beneath the abandoned Church of the Seven. In su that place is crawling with undead these days, so the rumours may well be true. Where Leandra goes, the dead rise left and right. And even in death, the long-lost tyrant's corruption appears to persist. Come to think of it. Did anyone in Evelyn's lair mention the name Cassandra? It's nothing, Hunter. Nothing. My mind is reeling, but I... I'll feel better soon. After you've cut short Leandra's dark pursuits. Alas, I haven't the foggiest. Another sorcerer, perhaps? Or simply... The Legion didn't find a second body at the scene of the crime. So maybe he escaped with his life after all. Though, just as likely, his body too was taken away by Evelyn for... experimentation. She is a great woman hunter. A champion of all that is good and pure. She may have killed Jake, but then again... The man turned out to be a vile sorcerer. I can only surmise that she is on to her sister's sinister schemes, which makes me fear for her safety more than... Leandra. I know her, though I haven't seen her in years. As you know, she and Ikara are sisters. It's hard for me to believe that she's leading this cult. She's as smart as ten wizards put together, Hunt. Now, you said Jake and Evelyn called her the Conduit, didn't you? In that case, she may just be the elusive head of the Immaculates. There's a village in the forests north of Sysiel where a new religion has taken hold. Its followers call them... This village is called Silverglen. And if my suspicions turn out to... And I will see if I can find out more about Ikara's involvement. But in the meantime, please, please pursue... Li and so the mystery is solved. Councillor Jake was murdered by this so-called ancient spectre spooks him so. Ah, who doesn't strike me as the type to... We did what we set out to do, though. Nowhere in our orders is the hunt for an undead king. Orders or no? Source Hunter. I shall be very glad to share what information. By all means. We lost another four break. My legionnaires. They all. Churches have churchyards. And churchyards. Sorry, sir. You, again. Do feel free to depart from Sysiel at your... So, let me get this straight. There are insidious sorcerers running about town that turned a council ambassador into a zombie for sport after said counsellor was murdered by some mystery witch who subsequently trotted off to her cabin in Lucula Woods. Sure you haven't omitted relevant details like, uh, flying brooms, black cats and bloody pentagrams? By Belagar's nevers. Sounds like a fantasy tale mothers tell their children before bed. And I bet none of it's more than fantasy either. 
Though no doubt Ahu puts stock in your every word. Anyway, be these truths, half-truths, or outright lies, it seems to me your business in Seal is concluded. Don't let the undead hit you on the way out. Whom would you have the least? So, he wants you to... As I suspected. <sighs> if you must. What more is there to say? She clearly was in league with the sect that's been unsettling Sysil. So now that she's dead, what'd you take me for? An ignoramus? That accursed name rings a god's damn Carillion. He was the last. We may well stand on unholy ground right now. For they say his remains were buried in what is now Sysil. The Mad King for Mad City. Now, I don't see how my... I heard she has a cottage in the forest north of the city. I'm sure it's made of gingerbread. I'd say they are looking for weak spot. Bravo! Figured that one out. How can I help you, my friend? Sorry, sir. You think that's funny, Private? Sir, no, sir. I should have done this from the very start. Adventurer, I judge, by the world-weary look of your weapon, and a noble by the wonderfully deep pockets clipped to your belt. What luck! What luck! Have a look by all means. You look like Charla is my name, good friend. I came to this second life some time ago, some years. Years it must be, or perhaps. In any case, it has been time well spent hunting out magnificent goods. So many wonderful artifacts I found. So many precious relics. Goodbye then, good friend. Goodbye. That is, unless you fancy a glance at some of my wonderful goods. Mm -hmm. No fancy stone. I just want to bury these bodies the traditional way. 
It's the least I could do for my dear brother, Oggy. <laughs> oh, it was such a dear lad he was. We wanted to see the world. But we saw next to nothing before he was called to serve. In our village, oh, poor Oggy will never see her again. But tradition goes that a warrior should be buried with his best armor so he can defend himself. There weren't so many spoiled after the battle, but I managed to give old Oggy the best set. A proud send off for a proud. <laughs> A grave with a full set of hand-picked armor, eh? We've got to know its location. I second that. His brother won't be using that armor now that he's gone to the great orc sty in the sky. You want the location of Oggy's grave? Now what use could you have for that small bones? Keep bothering about it and I may have to call over. Hand me my shovel. First one to strike gold, by Quint! Lies freeze! That shovel has proven worth its weight, it seems. And I would have done so more quickly if someone weren't hovering over my shoulder. Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't mean to be a bother. It's just so very thrilling when you've set your mind to something. Stay alert. We must remain on our guard here. are enormous. Watch out. Orcs that large think with their clubs, not their heads. Bless the seven, I am restored.
the heart. I needed that. Come my feet. Fuck, I'm dripping.
can smell your fear. You are a kid for my triumphant place. Bicycle of torment. Yeah. This is valuable. To foot, I'm invincible.
Why don't I feel more relieved to see so many dead orcs? Because whatever killed them could be around any corner, and we've no idea whether to expect friend or foe. Hang on to your socks. That's the biggest static cloud I've ever seen. There's got to be a way to cover up the source. Another innocent has fallen. Innocent? Ha! Consider it target practice, for there isn't a true innocent in all- True! Ha! 
cursed orcs! Even without a nose, thy stench plagues me! Stand on. after something quite valuable to have braved the battle with the undead. I feel like I must have a long bath in a cold lake.
is that abomination? Well, when a crab and a man love each other very much... Grasp is but a distant memory. This is the end for you! 